Okay, our first weird story is something everyone pretty much knows about, the Loch Ness Monster. So the story is that there's this kind of mythical creature in a way that isn't mythical because they are seemingly existing in this world um, that lives in an ocean or just a large body of water, a sea, a lake, something along those lines, and is serpent-like, large, maybe has powers in some circumstances. Magical powers? Sometimes it's just a snake. But people always have sightings of this animal, just like Bigfoot or the, what is another one that kind of... The abominable snowman? Yes, exactly. Is another fake creature? So clearly we know what Rich thinks about this, that the... Oh, I'll tell you what I think about it. Okay, so when you think of the Loch Ness Monster, what do you think? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Okay, so... Um, Number one, I would like to believe that it's real. Um, the Loch Ness Monster has been sighted, I believe it's in Scotland, in the Loch Ness, also Loch Ness Monster is also well, known as Nessie. Nessie. Nessie's been sighted, well, sighted apparently for a million, almost yeah, hundreds of years, hundreds right? Hundreds of years. Um, I wish Nessie were real. Um, from everything that I've seen, so there's obviously that old grainy picture um, many, many years back that was like the first evidence. Um, most people tend to think that that's actually like a log or something. Yeah. Um, but the most compelling thing that proves to me that most likely Nessie does not exist is um, probably in the last decade they did a study where they basically took all of these ultrasound ships and drove them all around the Loch Ness and they bounce the beams down to the depths to see if they could register any creatures that would be large enough to be considered mm -hmm. the Loch Ness Monster. And unfortunately, they didn't find anything, which leads us to, to this most recent photograph. Ian Bremer has recently released the surgeon's photograph of now. So the surgeon's photograph was the original one that we all saw that was released in 1934. Mm -hmm. It's very grainy, hard to tell what it is, but it looks very much like a serpent-like being or ex thing existing in this body of water. So Ian Bremer recently uh, released this photo that he took and he's a whiskey warehouse worker and it's behind us, you can look it up. Um, a lot of people are saying that it's seals and I personally do think it's seals considering the first and the head of the animal is a seal head or resembles closely a, z a seal head. Yeah, so uh, I tend to agree with that analysis that it is, in fact, a seal's head. Um, so basically, we, if, we, if we turn around for a second and take a look at the picture we have here, um, we have three objects right here. Um, there appears to be, so if this were the Loch Ness Monster and it is a serpentine being, what you would have here is probably, this is the head of the serpentine being right here. Um, this is one of its little snaky waves. And then this is a second one. So it goes like that. Right now, what I'm reading into this, um, and I think what Tamara believes as well, this is the head of a seal right here. Um, and then you have two seals kind of doing their dive into the water, um, which makes up this hump and this hump here. Yeah, so usually when people take pic photos of these, they end up being seals, logs, or omasi patches that are in the water. Yeah. This one, honestly, the timing of this is so perfect that if I took a photo like this, I would probably assume the same thing. But yeah, I mean, if you, listen, if you if you have a picture that's pretty close to looking like some kind of yeah. serpent and you took it um, in that lake in Scotland, you're definitely gonna try to like see if you can get on the Today Show or something. Yeah, it leaves a lot up to the imagination considering the majority of what would be the Loch Ness Monster is under the water in this circumstance. So, I don't know, but this has been going on since 1982. Um, there have always been articles going on from that time and before then that people have been seeing this. The same with the Abominable Snowman, Bigfoot. People like to believe what they don't understand, and I think this is just another showing of that. Yeah, I tend to agree. Um, I think a lot of times, like, our brains can trick ourselves into thinking like, you know, whatever you want. So like if you go out into the woods in Appalachia in the United States and you say, I'm going Bigfoot hunting, like you're going to convince yourself that you see Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, and if you go to Scotland and you say, all right, I'm going to spend a lot of time on this lake and I'm going to find Nessie. Yeah. You're going to start seeing Nessie. Especially if you're just staring at water for who knows how long looking oh, yeah. for something I mean, like it's that. Kinda, it's kind of weird. It's already a weird circumstance already. Oh, there you have it, folks. Let me know what you think about this picture in the background in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.